Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to use Veritas Net Backup 9.1 to perform a Kubernetes application consistent backup. Here, we can see a diagram that represents the Kubernetes architecture along with the Net Backup components that will be used in this video. The architecture consists of persistent storage provided to the applications contained in the namespaces on the Kubernetes cluster. In NetBackup 9.1, we use the Kubernetes operator for NetBackup, which orchestrates the backup and restore of the applications on the Kubernetes cluster. To perform the application consistent backups, we'll need Valero backup and restore hooks. But don't worry, I'll show you how to use those. There are a variety of hooks that can be configured for your specific use case. It just depends on which one that you'd like to use. We'll need pre and post backup restore hooks using annotations inside the pod. Okay, let's take a look at a demo of all of this working. From the Net Backup Web UI, we'll go to our Kubernetes tab under Workloads. For this demo, we're using an OpenShift cluster that has been registered with Net Backup and has successfully gone through a discovery. If we go to the Namespaces tab, we can see the applications running on the Kubernetes cluster. We'll be using the Postgres app namespace for our backup and recovery example. Okay, this is our Red Hat OpenShift console, and we can see the NBU Postgres SQL pod running inside the Postgres application. The annotation hooks have already been created, so let's take a look at them now. In the pre-hook annotation, we have a program that will help achieve application consistency for the Postgres database. In the post-hook annotation, we point to another application which will help us restore the database. What you decide to use will depend very heavily upon your application and your database. So use what is recommended for yours or an application that works best for you. Here we can see our Postgres app running in a Kubernetes cluster. Next, we'll log into our database and check to see that we have some data in our database. Here, you can see our Postgres database. What I'm doing is displaying some of the data in the database. So when I do the restore, I can check and show everything worked correctly. Okay, now let's head back to the Net Backup Web UI to start protecting this application. Next, we'll need a protection plan with type Kubernetes to protect our application. Here we have one that's already been created called K8's plan. All right, now that the plan has been created, we'll go back to our workloads and Kubernetes namespaces. Let's select our application and click Backup Now. Select your Kubernetes backup plan and click on the Start button. The backup has been started, and let's take a look at the activity monitor, see how it's doing. Okay, and here we can see the backup is running. The job has completed and it is successful. Okay, let's head back to our Kubernetes application under workloads. Okay, we'll select our Postgres app. Let's take a look at the recovery points tab. We can see an entry for the latest backup. Okay, let's click the three dots and select restore namespace. Next, we'll select our OpenShift cluster. Okay, so for this test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recover the application to an alternate namespace so that we can see that the recovery worked. We'll select all the resource types and unselect role binding. Now, the reason we're unclicking role binding is that we're recovering to an alternate namespace. If we were going to restore to the same namespace, we wouldn't need to uncheck these. We can see our restore job has been completed. Next, we'll go to our database console and verify the restore was successful. Okay, if we take a look here, we can see the namespace and the pod have been created. 
Now we'll log into the application, and within the database, we can see the new Postgres database has been created. Let's query the database now to validate that our data is present. All right, and what we can also do is review our checksums for the pre and post backups. We can see that they match, and this validates that the data is the same. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to perform a Kubernetes application consistent backup with Veritas Net Backup.